Hey guys, Mike Mouse 74 with a Walmart video review. I just wanted to show this off real quick before we actually start the Hercules figures because I thought this set looks pretty cool. We're going to be taking a look at Transformers Bot Shots Battle for the Matrix. Comes with four Bot Shot figures, two launchers, and a Matrix trophy card. So for the Bot Shot figures that it comes with, we're going to start with the Decepticon side. We have Megatron and Decepticon Brawl versus the Autobot side. We have Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. So let's take a quick look at the back. First, alongside the box, gives you a picture of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. On the back of the box, it shows you all four pictures of the bot shots included in the package. So we have Megatron and his attack strength. His fist power is 875. His weapon is, is uh, 330. And his uh, knife power is 415. For Decepticon Brawl, his attack strength, his fist power is 520. His weapon is 870. And his knife power is 230. For Optimus Prime and his attack strength, his fist power is uh, 835, his weapon is 505, and his knife power is 275. For Bumblebee, um, his attack strength, his fist power is 200, his weapon is 540, and his knife is 780. And on the other side of the box, it gives you a picture of Megatron and Decepticon Brawl. So without further ado, let's get these boss shots out of the box and see what they're all about. Alright, so here we have Transformers Battle for the Matrix bot shots open out of the packaging and in their vehicle modes looking pretty cool. We have Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Decepticon Brawl, and also comes with a Matrix trophy card, which is just on a little piece of cardboard. Nothing really too spectacular, but I guess it'll do. Now we'll just take a quick look at the figures in the vehicle modes, discuss some detail, and then uh, we can take a look at their bot modes a little bit later on. So for Bumblebee in uh, vehicle mode, he has some some black detailing and for the uh, for the grill some yellow molded detailing down here for the bumper some molded yellow detailing for the uh, for the lights here right there as well and on the hood of the vehicle on top he has some more yellow molded detailing here and right there would have been nice if they actually added some color but you really can't expect too much out of these little guys um, he also has some silver detailing for the windshield and for the side windows as well pretty cool next we'll take a look at Optimus Prime in his trailer mode Another pretty cool figure. Along the side of the trailer, he has some blue striped detailing along the side. And then up here, nice Autobot logo. Some blue detailing up where the uh, tires are. And then the cab itself is red detailing with, with some uh, gray detailing for the uh, windshield. And on the other side, some more blue striped detailing alongside the uh, trailer. And a nice Autobot logo on the other side. Pretty cool. Next, we'll take a look at Megatron in his vehicle mode. So you get some bronze detailing for the uh, for the uh, treads along the bottom, uh, some bronze detailing right here, and in the center you get a um, kind of a purplish reddish uh, Decepticon logo, and then some silver detailing here, some bronze detailing on the uh, on the uh, on the top here, and again some uh, bronze detailing for the treads on the vehicle here, right there as well, and on the other side again, you get some uh, bronze detailing for the treads some bronze detailing right here and a Decepticon logo and again you get some silver detailing pretty cool for Decepticon Brawl not a whole lot of detailing but there's some uh, green molded detailing on top of the tank uh, the only the only detailing that that he has is some red detailing for the missiles here and on the other side right there as well now let's take a quick look at their their bot modes so here they are in their bot modes we'll go with Bumblebee and, and uh, discuss some detail with him Pretty cool. I like the uh, the head mold, how it's so G1 accurate. Uh, I gotta love that smirk going on. Pretty cool. The uh, Some silver detail in the face. Nice blue eyes. He has some silver detailing down here with the legs on both sides here and there. And on the inside of the arms, he has some silver detailing here. And right there as well. Pretty cool. Next, we'll move on to Optimus Prime. Again, the nice head mold looks so G1 accurate. He has some blue uh, detailing around the helmet. Some silver detailing in the middle. Um, he has some uh, blue detailing down here for, for his legs and on both sides, some red detailing around the chest area. And if you see carefully on the inside of his arms, he also has some red detailing here and right inside there as well. Pretty cool. Now we'll move on to Megatron and Decepticon Brawl with their detailing. For Megatron, um, pretty cool. He has some uh, some silver detailing around the face area and the chin, under the eyes. The eyes are a nice red color because of that menacing look. He has some some bronze detailing on the inside of his chest here and right there as well. And on the inside of his arms here and right there as well. Pretty cool. 
now we'll move on to Decepticon Brawl and his and his detailing. Not much detailing on the uh, for the uh, vehicle mode, but in robot mode, pretty cool. He has some uh, silver detailing around the face. Nice red eyes. Again, gives it that menacing look. Some silver detailing on the inside of his arms here and right there as well. And some silver detailing on the legs here and right there as well. Pretty cool. Now, let's do some comparisons. So just for a quick comparison, here are some other Optimus Prime bot shot figures that I have. This one is from the Battle for the Matrix. This one is just the original Optimus Prime that comes with the trailer. And these ones are just sold uh, separately packaged. They don't come with the trailer, but notice the color difference between these two figures. The original one on the weapon, uh, the weapon on the trailer is, is uh, much more of a darker gray. Whereas the one for the Battle for the Matrix, the weapon on top of the trailer is much more of a lighter gray. And it looks to me that one is just a little bit more glossier than the other. And then the color difference between these two. And then uh, I pretty much just wanted to show you the color difference between all four figures. So here's a group shot of the Optimus Primes in bot mode. Again, this one is from the Battle for the Matrix. This one here is just the original Optimus Prime that comes with the trailer. And these two little guys, they don't come with the trailer, but they're still pretty cool to have. So here are some comparisons with some other Bumblebee bot shot figures. This one here is from the Battle for the Matrix and the rest of these three are just color repaints. So you can obviously tell the color difference. This one is much more of a brighter yellow, then it goes to dark yellow and much more of a darker yellow. Then it goes to translucent color Bumblebee. So I just wanted to give you guys a comparison between the Bumblebee figures that I have. And here are the Bumblebees in bot mode. Again, this one is from the Battle for the Matrix. And the rest of these three pretty much are basically the same figure, but just a different color. But they're still pretty cool. Just one small minor correction I want to make. I said this little guy here, Nemesis Prime. I said that he came in a single packaging. He actually came with another bot shot set I bought a little while back ago. Uh, he actually came with Megatron and Acid Storm. So I just want to make a little small correction. Here's a quick comparison with some other uh, Megatron bot shot figures that I have. This one is from the Battle for the Matrix. This one is just the original Megatron with this launcher. And this one is from the uh, bot shot pack that came with Nemesis Prime and Acid Storm. So I just want to give you guys a quick comparison with those three figures. So here are all three Megatrons in bot mode. This one again is from the Battle for the Matrix. This one here is just the original Megatron with his launcher. And again, like I said earlier, this one is just the Megatron that came with Nemesis Prime and Astro Storm. So I just wanted to give you guys a shot of what they look like in bot mode and with the launchers opened up. Pretty cool. And another comparison with Decepticon Brawl. This one is from the Battle for the Matrix, and I think this one came separately. I can't really remember offhand, but I just wanted to give you guys a comparison between the two figures. And here they are getting in bot mode. Pretty cool looking figures. So I decided to have a little battle for the Matrix. We got the Matrix in the middle, and on one side we have Optimus Prime. On the other side we have Megatron. Who's it going to be? Megatron or Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime or Megatron? Let's find out. To do that, you just press on top of the weapons. Ah, oh, look at that. See, we'll have um, Megatron with his fist power. It's A75. Put him down here. Oh, check out what Optimus Prime has. Same thing, fist power, but sorry to say, Optimus Prime has 835. Uh, I'm gonna have to say the battle for the Matrix goes to the Decepticons. Optimus Prime, you are out of here. Here's just a quick shot of my bot shot collection. I'll, uh, I'll scan through it real quick so you guys can see. Pretty cool. So this is Mike Mouse 74 with my video review of Transformers Battle for the Matrix Boss Shots Megatron, Decepticon Brawl versus Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Pick it up, pretty cool set. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community, stay tuned for more reviews and more updates and much, much more. I want to thank everybody for watching and take care guys. For my next review, that's if I don't find anything new, we're going to start off with the Hercules figures. This is X-Graver. Stay tuned everybody.